The FSW title on the line. Another great women's title match coming our way right now. I'm excited for this matchup. I've seen both these girls have matches on their own. I'm excited to see this clash. Lacey Ryan is an extremely athletically gifted woman, and I'm interested to see how Vipers plans on dealing with that. United Wrestling Network bringing great women's division action. I think back to Heather Monroe, Camille, week one. Of course, Thunder Rosa, Priscilla Kelly with that classic for the NWA World Women's title. Last week, a pair of great women's matches that we touched on. And now the FSW title on the line. Women's division alive and well and been a real uh, key point here on Primetime Live. Yeah, they've been showcased, they've been showing out, they've been demonstrating just what these ladies can do. And it's so impressive as Vipers goes low there. But I am you know, so thrilled about this partnership with FSW. You know, some really big games have come through there with Killer Cross and Hammerstone, just to name a couple. What a move by Lacey. Yep, and over attempt. Lacey Ryan, such a powerhouse. Trains with the likes of Tom Howard, a longtime veteran in this business. All the way back to the UPW days where John Cena got his start trained. John Cena when he was the prototype. So I think that's a big reason why Lacey Ryan does so well. She trains with a lot of big guys. And so she's very athletically gifted and able to toss around some of these smaller girls. Axe kick there by Vipress. Yeah, and throughout the, the quarantine, as Vipress looking to make history early, uh, trained in, in FSW regularly with the likes of Matt Vandergrift, great right athlete. But Vipress is the one that's on the attack right now, the serpent of evil. If you like the action you're seeing, you can keep up with it. Hashtag Prime Time on all your social media. Short drop kick by Vipress for the cover yet again. And this is a, a very fast start for Vipress when we're used to Lacey Ryan really getting off to a great start. With the title. I think Vipress might have known that she's going to swing the hips here and look to go for another vertical suplex. Impressive athleticism by Vipress. Wow. Lacey Ryan out of Vegas right now. It was Vipress that was doubling down, maybe looking for the trifecta and scores. Three snap suplexes. Look at the champ perching her back. She's in trouble here. Vipers did a fantastic job there, staying attached to Lacey between each of those slams. That's why she was able to continue slamming. That's why she was able to continue slamming Lacey Ryan there, because she stayed attached. Classic conflict between, you know, grappler and striker, although, uh, Vipers can really do it all, and you see this, but this is where she's really most comfortable. That Serpent of Evil moniker, because she will constrict her opponents on the mat and look to squeeze the life out of them with the submission. Yeah, she's coming with the game plan, and right, and right now she's executing it to perfection. Lacey trying to fire up here now, though, maybe assert herself in this match, but she's still hurting. Oh, there you see it right there. That constrictor-like action, just taking the back. The hooks are in a standing. Uh, she's deep under the naked. chin. That was very smart of her to stay standing and back Vipers up. If she had fallen to her back, that choke would have gone significantly deeper. Using the ropes now to reapply it. Really sinking it in here, that serpent squeeze, if you will. Vipers was really trying to get what she could out of that choke. She held it for a couple extra seconds there. Wow, then pulling the hair. Vicious here by Vipers. But when the title's on the line, and again, looking for her first Singles championship gold, expect a very aggressive challenger, and that's exactly what we're seeing right now. Vicious tactics are definitely Vipers' MO. Even if this wasn't a championship match, I'd expect her to be doing similar mean things to her opponent. Vipers well versed, variation of the camel clutch here. Oh, James back under that chin. Tried and true. She's looking for the choke again. Transition, so. Use that camel clutch and then out of the frying pan into the fire for, for Lacey. So Vipers there didn't control the hips. She didn't have the hooks in. That's why Lacey, Evan, or Lacey Ryan was able to turn around and face, face Vipers. Oh, 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 oh. I talked about frying pan and fire, but Vipers just got hit with an absolute skillet right there. What a shot. Vipers does not want to continue going toe to toe with Lacey, though. Lacey has power. Lacey's a, uh, just a prolific striker. But man, this is turning into quite a war with the FSW. Women's title on the line, now stringing together the offense. Again, Lacey Ryan defeated Taya Valkyrie for that title, so high-level competition in FSW, much like right here in Primetime Live. Yeah, Lacey is double tough, and she is showing it right now, and I think Vipers made a mistake there to strike, but what a German suplex, Vipers. Oh, Lacey, though, just shaking it off. Yeah, what a German suplex, but Lacey Ryan didn't get the memo. Now look at this, half Nelson suplex, kips up. Gonna, and, but the back still reeling. 
Residual damage, Blake. So this is one of the times where getting emotional has actually helped a, a competitor. A lot of the times you see them get overly aggressive and do something that starts causing Looking for the win. And I, I gotta ask you, you know, Gorilla Monsoon all, legendarily would always say, adrenaline can do wonders. Is there a point when you're in competition that it, you know, just when you think you got nothing left, that adrenaline kicks in, just gives you that little something extra, as uh, he used to I say? Don't, I don't know what it's to attribute it to, but it's survival mode, fight or flight, whatever you want to call it. When things get on the line, your body can do more than it can on a regular, regular occasion. Lacey Ryan, not usually known for going high risk, James, but it is something that she's been trying to put in her in her uh, toolbox. And look at that, oh my god, 450! I've never seen her try and execute that. Yeah, big time high risk, tilt the world now. And look at Piper's going right back to the well again. Constricting her, as you were saying, TK. Got suckered in, that made a mistake, high risk. And this time she's in the middle of the ring. It's gonna be significantly harder for her to get to that rope. And she's on her back. I'm not sure how she's gonna get out of this. She needs to start fighting the hooks off the hip yeah. to free her hips up so she can turn and face Vipress. We might make more history here on Primetime Live. Title changed hand la last week with the national title of the NWA. And now, oh, if this arm drops one more time, it's over. New champ. No, Lacey Ryan digs down, continues to fight on. There's that adrenaline we talked about, Blake. She's trying to fight these hooks off now. She can free her hips just like this. She can escape. Beautiful transition there. Changes the weight. Boy, that had to be tough to kick out of that. Yeah, she has, again, shown herself to be double tough. But credit Piper's game plan. What a, what a strike by Lacey. That high risk, though, may have cost her. Like you said, you've never seen her try, but we got a cover going here. Could be all. I'm, I'm a big fan of actually seeing her go high risk there because it shows an evolution. I'm not sure if that's the route she should take, but it shows she's trying new things and evolving as a competitor. Would you bust that out with the title on the line? Maybe the title on the line might be a time to show off. You tell me, Jimbo. I don't, I don't know if I would go that route with the stakes so hot. She was able to overcome it, though, guys. High-level striking that left both feet into that bicycle kick, but again, not to be denied. Absolutely tenacious is the serpent of evil. She came in with a game plan, and she is hellbound on executing it. Play. Oh, a headbutt. This thing getting real physical real fast. Knee up the middle. This thing turning into a grand finale of a fireworks show. Look out. There it is. Knee exploder. Back to the coffin. Here is your winner. And still, the future stars of wrestling. Women's Champion, Lacey Ryan! I talked about it, Blake, that it could come down to Grappler versus Striker. That's, exact, that's exactly what we got with the Striker getting the better of it. Take us through the action here, Blake, using your expertise. So here you can see that, that twist into the up knee. Man, Viper looks like she's out cold. She's still on the mat. Another great in a, uh, matchup in a line of phenomenal women's division matches here and still in the infancy of primetime live.